Good afternoon, friends. This is important news. Action will need to be taken very soon. Experts say that over 1 million Americans could begin to lose federal assistance. This comes as a record number of Americans fall behind on their utility bills. But advocacy groups are trying to work with state lawmakers to come up with a way to solve this issue. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch. Until the end of this video. Also, tomorrow, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dearest friends, the greater your chances of winning these weekly giveaways. And、um, the assessment is that the U.S. has done the best job in, in coming out of COVID. And not that every economic issue is solved, but in terms of inflation going down and the recovery dramatically stronger than what was predicted, dramatically stronger than、uh, other nations,、uh, there's a lot to be said for the policy actions that have been taken、uh, by Congress. Um, in, in order to help the U.S. have this strong economic recovery. Now, on housing, I was a fair housing lawyer for、um, 18 years before I got into、uh, state politics. And so this is a topic that's very, very close. I was also a local elected official and a governor dealing with the LIHTC, LITEC, dealing with home、uh, funding and knowing how important it is. During my time now, nearly 30 years on July 1 in elected office from the local, state, and federal levels, I go around the state and talk to a lot of people. And I will say the cost of housing usually would be in the top 10 over much of my career and in the top three in Northern Virginia. But now it's top five everywhere in Virginia. I could go to the most rural parts of my Commonwealth or Northern Virginia. It's going to be a top five or a top three issue. So this is a significant one. And I would say, particularly for first time. Home buyers.、Um, the, the, the chairman put some stats in about that that I think are important. The percentage of purchases that are first time home buyers has been going down. And so we need to,、uh, we need to figure it out. One of the things I'm real concerned about are, are obstacles and barriers within housing that、uh, enable people, even if they could afford housing, to find obstacles in their way. And so I want to ask about a particular bill that I've been working on, the Fair Housing Improvement Act. Um, the Housing Choice Voucher Program provides rental assistance to allow families to find rentals that work for them.、Uh, there are other programs like Section 8 vouchers. VA has some Housing Choice vouchers. And in theory, families can use this assistance to move to neighborhoods of their choice and get access to schools, get access to transit, get access to jobs. However, what we find is many、uh, landlords and those who have rental properties say that they refuse to take vouchers. They refuse to take Government income、uh, as, a, as a source of income, and they use that as a reason to turn people down. We don't accept Section 8 vouchers. We don't accept housing vouchers. We don't accept some of the VA vouchers.、Uh, I think there's a significant body of evidence that suggests that that's pretextual.、Um, the notion of we don't take vouchers, you'll, you'll take somebody's pay stub when they could be sacked tomorrow as evidence of their ability to pay. Somebody having a voucher. A voucher is a much more likely long term reliable source of income than anybody's pay stub would be.、Um, what we've seen around the country, including in Virginia, is、um, uh, common, uh, Commonwealth and states adding to the fair housing laws and prohibiting discrimination on the grounds of source of income.、Um, I introduced a bill first with,、uh, with Senator Orrin Hatch to do this.、Uh, Utah was one of the early states in the country that、uh, prohibited. Discrimination on the source of income, and we haven't yet been able to get that passed. According to CNN News, when an Arctic blast hit Massachusetts earlier this month, the phone started ringing more frequently at the Citizens for Citizens. Desperate residents in the southeastern part of the state needed help with their mounting energy bills, but the nonprofit group had to tell many of the callers that it could not rescue them this time. Congress is on track to allocate $2 billion less for the low income home energy assistance program. So, Massachusetts has been forced to cut the amount of aid it can provide to people who are in need. Last year, residents who heat their home with oil could receive up to $2,350 of their energy bill paid, 
while those who use electricity or natural gas could receive up to $1,550. But this year, the maximums are $1,500 and $1,000. So for instance, households who already received the maximum amount of assistance but need another oil delivery are out of luck. Les Berube, Citizens for Citizens Executive Director, has said she's seeing more first-time applicants this winter. The drop in federal funding for the low-income Home Energy Assistance Program comes at a time when the number of Americans behind on their utility bills and the amount of money they owe are at record highs. Approximately 21.2 million U.S. households, or more than one in six in the U.S., owed money on their electricity bills in December. That number is up from 20.1 million one year earlier. Electricity and natural gas bills combined hit $20.3 billion, up from $17.8 billion the year before. Also, the demand for the low-income Home Energy Assistance Program is at historic levels. It served 7.1 million households in fiscal year 2023, which ended September 30th. According to CNN News, the cost of heating in the winter and cooling in the summer have skyrocketed in recent years as energy prices have only increased. Though inflation has ebbed, energy prices remain higher than they were prior to the crisis. Recognizing the need, lawmakers have funneled several billions of dollars more each year into the low-income home energy assistance program, which typically receives approximately $4 billion in base funding. The Biden administration in October requested an additional $1.6 billion. But Congress has yet to fund the government agencies for fiscal year 2024, which has now forced states to assume they'll only get the base level of funds. More than 1.4 million U.S. households could lose assistance if lawmakers do not provide another $2 billion in funding. The Merced County Community Action Agency in the state of California has already had to turn some people away without receiving any aid this year. The agency's director has said that the nonprofit expects to help fewer than 3,000 people that is with roughly $1 million in the low-income home energy assistance program funding it is set to receive this year. That's far from more than 7,000 people it assisted last year when it received $2.4 million in funds. CNN News has also confirmed that even though there is a line of people with shut-off notices waiting outside every day, staffers must tell those who don't meet these criteria, they cannot receive any assistance. Other low-income home energy assistance program groups have not had to turn people away yet, but they are struggling to process all the applications that they are receiving. At Community Options in North Dakota, Outreach Officer Shannon Rowlandson said she's received 68 applications so far this year about double the number in early 2023. She's had to add two more staffers to her team of four and is looking to hire two additional people. The calls for assistance increased when the state experienced a deep freeze in early January. The high temperatures were below zero degrees and the wind chill made it even feel like minus 70 degrees. But by that time, many Americans were already in crisis mode. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Well, my awesome and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. To say thank you, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway tomorrow. Please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways.